Hi, I'm here with Fabio Ribeiro from Brazil, who is the head of the ABDO, uh, the organization in Brazil that represents a large number of operators um, who are doing digital out-of-home advertising. He himself also runs a network down there, and so we're going to get some information about that. But first, Fabio, could you tell us a little bit about um, what you're doing with your association? Well, uh, we, we represent the most important companies, operating companies in Brazil, and our idea is it's a new market for us as for in in the America and we we must uh develop this market try to to uh agencies and advisors uh to uh understand this market and trust in in our our product that's the, the main job we have at this moment sure now what are you seeing in terms of growth in brazil because as i understand it's growing quite a bit yes it's growing very faster uh okay it's a, a small number but it's, it's growing very very faster uh about 80 percent last year and we are expecting for 50 percent for this year uh, and uh, the number of the screen is growing very fast also. Very fast. As well. Now, are there any particular challenges that are unique to Brazil about the industry itself and, and the growth in terms of more locations or maybe government issues? Are there any challenges um, that are unique to Brazil? Um, yeah, I have, I have a, a lot of cha challenges. Uh, specific for, for Brazil, uh, at this moment, uh, the, all the economy in the country is growing very fast. We have a, a very good moment at this moment, uh, at this time in Brazil, and our challenge uh, is to bring uh, investments uh, in our our business uh, and advertising come to to our market and uh, have this experience, new experience with this new product. Are you looking forward to continued growth until the FIFA World Cup and through the Summer Olympics? Uh, this morning Patrick Quinn um, in his keynote speech mentioned that these are big growth drivers. Um, are, are you looking forward to that? Yes. Uh, we, we, in our company we already have uh, a sign with the organization of uh, FIFA uh, to uh, uh, we agree with the the, um, the rules for the, the advertising at the time of the, the FIFA uh, championship. Great, great, great. Now, can you tell us a little bit about um, your company, Band Outer Net, which does um, digital out of home for different transit things? Um, I understand that it's actually a lot further along than even some of the American examples uh, or the United States examples of digital out of home. Can you talk a little bit about your company? Yes, uh, Band is a, a Brazilian network, a television broadcaster network, mm -hmm. and in the last four years they investing uh, so much in specifically in the digital out of home market. Uh, they bought uh, some of the main companies uh, operating in the uh, specific specifically in in transit screens. I mean, we have about six thousand. Six uh, 5,500 screens in subway trains. Uh, uh, the screens are installed on the train, uh, not in the platform or on the station. And we are now we are installing uh, 4,500 buses in São Paulo and 2,000 buses in Rio de Janeiro, expecting for the FIFA World Cup and. Uh, uh, Olympic Games. Yeah. Now, subway advertising is a very powerful medium because you have people that are inside. Um, they're also underground, so they can't use their phones and things. Um, and I, I've written a couple things about this before. But is there something unique that the digital out of home um, opportunity provides for the riders of the subway in terms of information or, or content? Is there anything um, that you focus on that you can provide to the riders on the subway as kind of a benefit for the subway? Yes, um, it can can hear a little bit strange, but it's not easy to have the attention of the passengers mm -hmm. in the subway. Uh, we we have a tough job that, uh, and at this moment, for example, we are making uh, a reality show 
um, with some passengers. We are trying to uh, teach them about playing samba. Mm -hmm. uh, and the best one who's going to elect us by the other passengers uh, going to... Um, um, play samba in the carnival in Sao Paulo. Oh, wow. And we, we doing a lot of uh, interactive uh, things uh, to keep more uh, closer from our uh, audience. Yeah, that's that's really really cool. The samba is, is such a unique thing for Brazil as well. Um, are, do you think that with the kind of new technologies that are available, is there anything that you that your um, group is looking at as ways to integrate, like mobile or social media? Are, are you working at all with these types of technology as well? Yes, uh, a little bit. Uh, it's not too strong at this moment. We have we have some activ uh, uh, interactive activities uh, in the subway and the buses. And uh, talking about technology, uh, at the buses we have a, a very special uh, system. Uh, we are transmitting um, online uh, using uh, digital television uh, bandwidth. Um, it's straight for the buses and we can send uh, specific content for a specific buses in any one of the 4,000 4, buses. And there's uh, the proprietary technology we develop uh, in-house and working fantastic for us. That's, that's very good news. Now, a lot of investors internationally have been looking at Brazil recently because of the economic growth in general. Is there anything you'd like to tell potential investors about the power of digital out of home in Brazil? Well, it's a, a great opportunity. Uh, we are starting this market. It's from, from five or six years now and have a, a lot of opportunities. Uh, small companies are starting and uh, a lot of work to do, but um, I, I feel it's a, a great, a great opportunity for all. Fabio, thank you so much for coming all the way up here to Las Vegas. We wish you the best of luck for the thank show. You, and if there's anything else you'd like for us, just, just let us know, okay?